Hi, welcome to our show today. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the T word, trust. And as I was leaning into this topic today, uh, it, it hit me that it, truth also needs to be included in this conversation. So uh, trust. How many people out there listening can say they fully trust themselves or you fully trust your partner or the people you work with or the universe? Fully trust, fully trust. It's hard. Well, I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me having that hard time. But I think that in this day and age, as we're going through an incredible shift and up leveling of consciousness, not just awakening of consciousness, but up leveling, and it's happening at a very rapid pace, uh, that sometimes trusting what's occurring is a challenge. And because of the last two year plus more, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to trust when we don't know what the truth is. And at least in my experience, and the truth means something completely different for each and every individual, as we've seen happening across the planet. Lots of people want to think that truth is based in fact. And lots of people want to think that truth is based in science. Those are material things, everybody. What if truth is based in energy? What if truth is mystical? There's a mystical truth that is untangible. It, it you know, it, it's not a material thing. And so to trust your truth requires that you become a conscious human being, that you become consciously aware of the feelings and emotions that pass through you moment by moment. Now, I'm not saying you have to pay attention to every moment, but to be aware that the feelings and emotions that move through you are happening for a reason. I don't know, but maybe you can investigate. Is it true? Uh, Byron Katie, uh, her work is all about asking the question, is it true? Is this true? And listening to yourself, that's the mystical energetic component of truth and listening to yourself creates trust, right? Listening to yourself that is sourced from a higher, uh, higher spiritual place, for lack of a better description, listening to your heart wisdom, listening to the intuition that resides in your heart, not the thinking place in your head, but in your heart, listening to that, that is your truth. And again, it's different for each and every person on the planet. But learning to trust your truth as opposed to their truth, as opposed to the facts that people are putting out there wanting you to swallow, as opposed to the sciences that have been proven or not really proven, as opposed to the authority figures that want to tell you what you need to believe or how you need to think or what the rules are for operating on planet earth, right? That's where you, each of us, surrenders our, our divine authority, our divine wisdom, by listening to the them that's telling us and trusting the them, whoever they are. You're outsourcing your, your inner trust and you're outsourcing you, the truth of your being. 
So let's, let's just examine that for an extra minute. The truth of every single person's individual being here is that we are all emanations of a divine spark. We are all at the very center, at the very core of our being divine. And that means that we're all connected because we all come from the only oneness that can't even be described. And this, and this has been written for centuries. All the mystical sacred texts that have been written or spoken before the written word all relate, connect, point to that there is an incredible energy system, I call it source energy, that does source each and every living thing, sentient being, the rocks, the crystals, the earth you stand on. All of it is part of a higher, larger energy system. And it's mystical. And the reason why it's mystical is as humanity began to evolve and move from the agrarian culture of living on the land, living from the land into cities and apartment buildings and pandemics, uh, we lost our inner trust our trusting ourselves, we allowed ourselves to then become subservient to individuals that appeared, that seemed to have more or be more or whatever. And, uh, and we lost the truth within ourselves. It's still there, right? It's still there, but it takes trust, trusting your inner wisdom to find your truth. Believe me, I've been on this journey. I, I, it's, and I'm still on the journey of continually learning to listen and trust myself. And when I do have self-doubt, I'm beginning to see it as not the effect of me, right? It's not that I don't know, it's that I'm questioning. The self-doubt can move us into actually being curious. Huh, I don't know, is that true? I, do, I doubt that, I doubt that it's true. But let me think about it, let me investigate within myself. Now you might wanna research and Google and you know, lots of people are doing that. I, I love the people that do that because they bring me information that I need and, and may not be seeking, right? But I trust more my inner wisdom to say, aha, that sounds true for me, whatever the Google search showed up, right? And then is it true? It's true for me. So I wanna invite you, whew, let's just all take a deep breath. I wanna invite you in this moment, right now, with that breath to just drop into your heart wisdom and just breathe in and ask yourself the simple question, what is true for me? And then trust the very first thing that comes up because 99% of the time that is the truth, your truth. And remember that your truth is not my truth. I wish it could be. I think we'd all unify a lot faster, but then we'd all be uh, not individuated, you know? And we are that individuated emanation of the divine, of source energy. So I am choosing to remember and trust my mystical experiences, my energy system within my mental, emotional, and physical bodies. I am choosing to trust that. And the authority outside of me that wants to uh, create fear out of concern, right? It can be out of concern, um, out of wanting uh, my life to be better, 
according to their facts and science and ideas, but trusting my energy system, my mystical intuitiveness, that's where I choose to live my empowered life from. A place of truth, trusting the mystical, trusting the unknown. Oh, that's a big one. But when we can trust that unseen side of life that is always circulating, we see it now during this month of May, we see it circulating as spring begins to open and blossom. So what appeared to be dead, gone, dying, is coming back to life. And trusting that that cycle, that seasonal cycle is ongoing. It has been going on for eons, right? So where do you trust yourself? Do you trust yourself to make good decisions? Do you trust yourself to make healthy decisions for yourself, for your family, for your business? And what's the truth about that? Are you making your decisions based on somebody else's authority and facts and figures, or are you making your decisions based on trusting that you do know what's right for you? And again, it's not a one size fits all, but what's right for you. And as you align with that, as you align your inner landscape with the awareness that there is something more than you that is orchestrating life by means of you, when you can trust that even more, then miraculous things occur. Then potentials you hadn't thought of or considered show up, doors fling wide open because the infinite presence of the one, that source energy has an abundant givingness because it wants to flow in through you. Creative ideas want to flow in through you and be expressed. You got to trust yourself with that. Love flows into you and wants to be expressed. You got to trust yourself with that. What is the truth of your being? And I, I'll give you a couple hints. It's not anxiety and fear and guilt. It's not sickness. It's not threats. Those are all man-made things. You really need to get to a place in consciousness where you can understand that. Because the infinite uh, source energy is none of those things because it's so much more than the smallness of human humanity, the smallness of matter. It's so much more than that. And so opening and trusting that the energy that flows in you that activates every cell of your body and regenerates without you even having to do anything about it, except maybe drink some water. Um, that energy system is the thing that is helping you, supporting you, loving you into uh, a perfect right divine expression of yourself. That's the truth. That's the truth. And anything other than that, any smallness, any feelings of not being worthy, any feelings of being afraid to ask for help or being afraid in general to leave your house, to take that mask off, any, any feelings that are unlike love and happiness and freedom, any of those feelings are, are not true. They're not true. And I'm imploring you to trust, trust, trust. 
and find out what is your truth and then claim it, proclaim it, stand up for yourself and tell yourself, you don't have to tell everybody, you don't have to shout it from the mountaintops, but stand up for yourself and tell yourself, I trust myself. I love myself. I respect myself. And I am worth the love and respect that flows to me. I'm worth it. Yeah, so trust, truth, trust, trust, truth. They go hand in hand. I really think so. I really think so. So anyway, some food for thought this day. And so it is. Namaste.